everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a very special video. This is going to be the confessions of a nail polish addict tag video, but I'm not doing it on my own. I'm actually doing this in collab with two friends here on YouTube. I'm doing it with Josephine from Polish Talk and Joni from Mama Loves Nails. I was kindly asked by Josephine to ask them in this collab and I couldn't say no. I've mentioned it in yesterday's video. I love doing tag videos. And I recently saw Kayla and Walker do this video to on their channels and it's such a fun tag. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. If you're coming from Joni's or from Josephine's channel, hi, welcome, my name is Laura and I love nail polish. So this tag is perfect for me. I would love to have you be part of my growing community. I hope you can hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay guys, so if you see me a little worn down, it's because I already filmed this video in the morning right now it's around 8 p.m. and I never film at night so what happened is I did my tag video and when I was getting ready to edit for tomorrow uh, which I'm filming this on Wednesday when I was getting ready to edit it I realized the audio was off on half of the video so I could have saved the first half which was the intro and the first three questions so not even the half probably like a third of the video but you know what, I decided to scratch it and just start over. It's been quite a day to be honest. Uh, it's been raining here in North Texas, which I love, not complaining. The problem is there's a leak in my house. Uh, there's a leak somewhere in the roof and literally the ceiling on my son's room is coming down. It's just, you know, we're gonna have to call the insurance and it's just been a lot of stress. So talking about polish, uh, polish makes me happy. So doing this tag and filming this video, in a way, you know, at the end of a rough day, it's good for me. Polish always makes me happy. It always lifts my mood. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. So I'm glad I get to film this video all over again. All right, so let's begin. If you see me looking to the side because I have my laptop here with the questions, so just bear with me. The first question is, what color are you wearing right now? And you guys know, I'm a little extra, so I'm wearing two colors. These are actually, um, gifts from Josephine. Well, I actually won a giveaway. I believe it was her 600 subscriber giveaway and I was lucky enough to win two polishes from the Pure Eyes Halloween collection that was just released. I have been hunting them down at my local Walmart with a nest. I went to like at least four that are around me and nothing. So when she told me that I had one, I was very excited because these polishes are beautiful. On my right hand, I have this beautiful kind of like duochrome polish it goes from like a purple to a teal and here it is i mean look at that bottle it looks amazing uh this is in the shade coffee break and on my left hand this one looks a lot better you see that green this is like a duochrome for like a purple with a strong green flash but in some angles the flash looks magenta and this beautiful polish look at that so pretty. This is in the shade Howling Wind. I really love these polishes. I don't want to take them off, but I have polishes to swatch for tomorrow's video. So I'm going to have to remove them. But thank you so much, Josephine. They're amazing. Question number two is, what nail product can't you live without? I don't want to say base coat or top coat. Because even though I do wear base coat, if I forget one day, no biggie. If I get stains... I don't care, my nails are never naked, so um, that's not a product that I can't live without. Top coat, I rarely wear a top coat, simply because I'm a hoarder. And if I add a top coat for longevity purposes, the longer my nails look nice, the less likely I am to change my polish. Because you know, if I change my polish often, then I'm gonna run out of polish. I don't know why, but that's the way my brain thinks. So I avoid wearing a top coat unless I'm sick or something and I know I'm not gonna be able to do my nails then I add it but it's not a necessity for me so I'm gonna have to go with my nail clipper this for me is a necessity question number three is what is your favorite nail brand and if you've been here with me for a while you know the answer to this and they are KL polish and glam polish question number four is what nail shape do you wear I think my nails are wanna be square nails <laughs> i don't know i'll let you guys be the judges that's my nail shape and then this one over here they're a little bit more round like i said my nail clipper is a necessity because 
I do not file my nails. What you see here, it's all this. I don't file my nails because I don't like nail files. That feeling when you're filing them is like, ugh, so, um, I don't want to say gross, but it gives me the, ugh, it gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. It's like scratching a chalkboard or grinding your teeth. I can't, I can't do nail files. So yeah, my nail shape is whatever I can get done with my nail clipper. Number five is what's your go-to red, pink, and neutral nail polish? For pink, that was no questions asked. I knew which one it was. I said it before, I'm not a big fan of pink polish, but I do have a favorite one. And when I do want pink nails, this is the one that I always go to. And this is no longer available, sorry. But this is from the Simple Shine line in collaboration with Kylie Jenner. This is in the shade Real Regal, and this is so far the best pink I own and my favorite. For red, um, I feel like this one from L'Oreal was my go-to for a long time. This is in the shade Red Tote. But recently, I was introduced to this beautiful polish from OPI, and this is Tell Me About It. Stud from the Grease Collection. And once I put this shade of red on my nails, everything changed. This is the only shade of red that I want to wear now. So recently, I was craving a red polish and I'm trying to go through my untried stash because if you've seen it, you know it's huge. So when I started looking for a red, I picked one that was similar to this, which tells me that this is now going to be my go-to red shade. For neutrals, there's only two kind of neutrals that I gravitate towards and they're like the mauve polishes. Here you go. This two mauve kind of looking polishes and this one right here is from Sinful Colors in the shade Vacation Time and this one is from Ulta, the Ulta Beauty nail polish line and this one's in the color Super Mauve but I also enjoy a gray. Gray is one of my top five favorite colors so when I really want to tone it down and go for a neutral I go for a gray and this one is perfect. I love this shade. This is in the color Stick to Your Guns from Salon Perfect. Number six is a quick question. Short or long nails? The answer is long. If I have my nails any shorter than this like literally my fingertips hurt. I don't know if that's normal but when I cut them too short or I get a break, I have to wear a band-aid till it grows out because my fingertips are so sensitive that my long nails help protect it. So for me, it's always gonna be long nails. Number seven is what nail polish colors are in your nail wish list? I have a lot of polishes on my wish list. I'm trying to be more smarter on my purchases and try not to get so many dupes in my stash because I'm running out of storage space, but a part of me still wants to purchase every single polish that is out there. So, in an effort to not sit here and talk about nail polish for what can literally be hours, uh, I narrow it down to some of the recent releases that are part of my wish list. So I'm gonna start with Soya. From Soya, I really want Danica and Juniper, which are part of the new holiday collection. From China Glaze, I want Wicked Liquid, which is part of their Halloween collection. Then from OPI, I want Alpaca My Bags and Seven Wonders of OPI. In my head, I feel like Seven Wonders of OPI is gonna be my forever favorite neutral shade. I don't know if that's gonna work out, but that's the reason why I want that polish. From Indies, I really wanna try the Four Piece Fall Collection from Rogue Lacquer. Those four polishes look amazing number eight is gonna be when do you paint your nails morning afternoon or evening i like to paint my nails in the morning simply because i'm home alone my kids are at school and you know i can paint my nails without getting distracted plus for my swatch pictures i always use natural light so that's why i like to paint my nails in the morning so i can step out on my porch get some sunlight and get the best pictures I can since I can't really do the lighting or photo editing stuff. I never edit my photos by the way because I do not know how to edit. So um, yeah, morning is the best but sometimes when I'm feeling a little stressed out or when I get new polishes like last night when I got the, the two from Josephine, then I'll take off what I'm wearing and you know, put something else on. Number nine is, what's your top nail tip you swear by? Uh, well, I don't have a nail care routine, so I cannot give you any advice on nail care because I don't even have one. So the only nail tip I can give you is 
to clip your nails when you're in the danger zone. Now, what is the danger zone? The danger zone is when you know your nails are too long and you might have a break soon. If you know your nails are at that danger zone, just clip them. I'm not saying go back to nails. I'm saying just clip them a little bit. You know, that's what I do to prevent breaks. Don't wing it. Take care of your nails. Play it safe. Clip your nails when they're too long and avoid a break at all costs. Because then if you do get a break, most of the time when you get a break, it goes down here, which makes it so much worse. It's gonna take longer to grow out and then it hurts. And then now you have to cut all your nails, not just that one. So just avoid the danger zone. Clip your nails when they're too long. That's what I do, that's what works for me and I rarely get a break. Let's hope I didn't just jinx myself. Number 10 is what nail polish do you regret buying? Now I have a whole video um, polishes that I regret buying so I'll link it in the description box for you but recently um, if you saw my video from my picks from the Shina Glaze Shades of Paradise collection there was one that I showed you that I really regret picking up and again I'll link that video in the description box for you in case you missed it uh, but that polish is the pink one and this is Don't Be Sea Salty the reason why I regret purchasing this is because I didn't want to get it in the first place. I guess I just wanted to force myself to love it because it's a bright shimmering pink, which I love my bright polishes and my shimmers. So I really wanted to love this. That's the only reason why I picked it up. Not really because I wanted it. And yeah, I mean, once I put it on my nails, I didn't really like it. The formula is not the best. So this is my most recent polish purchase I regret. I should know better. I don't like pinks. I need to stop buying pinks. Number 11, neon or pastel? Neon. And number 12 is, what's your favorite color right now that you wear all the time? Well, like I mentioned, I'm trying to go to my untried stash, so I'm trying my best not to wear polishes that I've worn before. It's just a lot of new polish, and I need to make sure that I show love to all of them. So recently, I haven't been repeating polishes. However, I recently, filmed a video on my favorite drugstore polishes and another one for our face for fall collab and after watching two specific polishes I want him to put them on my nails I'm gonna start with this one from simple colors again this is limited edition this is in the shade constellation I swatched it on my drugstore polish video and I wanted to put it on immediately after I filmed that but I've told myself no, you need to wear your own try. It's, this polish has been loved previously a lot. I, mean, I have a feel line that's like somewhere down here. However, I don't have a swatch picture for this on my Instagram, so I think that's a good reason to wear it again, right? The other polish that I want to wear again is this one from Soya. This is Jasmine, and this was in my Face for Fall video. This is just a beautiful polish. I love this polish. This is one of my all-time favorite polishes so when i put it on that day for my swatch pictures for the video you know i had to remove it to swatch some of the other four and i immediately wanted to put it back on but <sighs> i worn this several times because again it's an all-time favorite but if i could this too would be on my nails right now all right guys so those were all 12 questions i finished just in time my phone's about to run out of battery i only have three minutes left so that's good if you haven't done this video, I would like to encourage you to film it. I would love to hear all your answers. And if you don't have a YouTube, answer some of the questions in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys too. I want to thank Josephine once again for inviting me to do this collab with her and with Joni. I'm gonna leave their channels in the description box for you guys, so make sure you go show them some love. We're all gonna be uploading uh, this video on Thursday, sometime throughout the day. We didn't settle on one specific time, so just make sure you subscribe so that you are notified when their videos go live. Tomorrow I'm going to be sharing with you five new polishes from Sally Hansen, so make sure you come back for that. As always, thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!